Welcome, you're watching How to Import into Canada Part 1. My name's Adriana Zamora, this is Mike Wright. There's two types of importers. There's a resident importer and a non-resident importer. So the resident importer is somebody who has their place of business in Canada. Then there's a non-resident importer. Someone who has decided to sell to Canada, they've decided to take on all that responsibility themselves. Inco terms. Inco terms, yes. There are a set of rules which define the responsibility of buyers and sellers for the delivery of goods under sales contracts for domestic and international trade. What are some other participating government agencies that you might encounter as an importer? Right, PGA, OGD, they, they really kind of mean the same thing, other government departments, participating government agencies. What about Health Canada? What kind of things do they regulate? Okay, so Health Canada is going to re regulate a lot of things that are going to go on your skin, some lotion, suntan lotion, right? So we're going to advise the client on new rules and regulations. Um, if, if you're with PCB, um, we have email blasts that go out. Um, we also have blogs that go out. Um, you can get a lot of new, uh, you can get a lot of advice on new rules and regulations right there. There's six methods of valuation. So this would be what I call the foundation of any, any customs entry. HS classification is crucial. It, so the way it's structured is it's 10 digits. Um, the first two digits will indicate the chapter. That can be applied to a, a, a tariff to reduce or eliminate the duty rate if the item qualifies under a free trade agreement. Okay, Mike, this is what everybody is here for. Okay. Documentation and right. forms. Right. How do you fill them out? Okay, so Canada Customs um, for shipments coming into Canada. Okay, awesome. Well, that is basically how to complete a Canada Customs invoice. That's right, yeah. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Thanks very much.